Fuck them. That's the first time I ever used the, uh, the Twitch and Chill thing. But yeah, welcome. We are going to be playing some uh, test demos of sorts, as you can see down below in the description. Uh, we have three, all of which are basically indie games, all of which that are trying to be made, and all of which that are platform-based. Um, I'm going to be showing you each one of these. I'm going to be going from the easiest to the more longer one, and I have a lot to tell you about each one, as far as I know. So let's go ahead and talk about probably the shortest one. And this one was interesting because this was a failed Kickstarter. That's now kind of Indiegogo kind of deal. I'm not 100% sure about this one, but um, let me go show you this. Uh, so this demo I'm about to share right now is called Griff. And um, let me go ahead and try to turn on the fucking thing before I forget. And it's weird. Oh, I have to click on it. I see. Before anything else, let me just... <laughs> oh, man. Grim, he's so professional with all your shit. I know. Aren't I? I'm so good. Let me go ahead and do that again. I need to show you the cool intro. And uh, apologies on the widescreen on this game. Um, I know it's better off. I usually come to like these kind of old ska style games. I tend to kind of do it like the 6 by 4 ratio, like what I did with Baldi on Wednesday. But um, I'm not, I'm not going to set it up for this one game for the other one. So for just for now, we're going to do it like this. So bear with me. So why, why don't you show up? What the fuck? Okay, that's weird. So, it doesn't want to show up when it has the cool effects, but it, it will do that. Alright, whatever. Uh, also, fuck me, I forgot. Turn down the turn, turn down the volume. So, this was done by Break Bo Breaker Box, who also does other stuff. So, yeah. If the volume's weird or anything, let me know. So, this is called Griff the Winged Lion. And it is supposed to be played much like... Like, it's advertising stuff like a Sony game. So, much like how you see Spyro being played. So, I'm gonna do a new game. This is a demo of sorts. So, most of these demos require you to have a fucking controller on you. Because, God forbid, the mouse buttons and stuff like this won't work. So, alright. So, this gives you the kind of control down. Camera left, camera right. Charge there. Pause, move. Uh, charge, run, special. Jump and attack. Camera. You know what? Um, this looks pretty much. Yeah. So this this seems pretty much like basic design for every kind of platformer thing. This has a very much like a spiral two field, I must say. Especially how it opens up like this. Uh, the side here, though, with the graphics, kind of seem out of place for such a low polygon feeling. Let's see here. So defeat three goblins, free four fairies, find four radicals, collect treasure, okie dokie. So this is... oh, what's this? Jeez, Griff, where have you been? Father's been waiting. Oh, good, cutscenes. Hey, Gavin. Sorry, I was just helping out in the kitchen. Oh, ooh. By helping out, I take it you mean helping eat the food. <laughs> Interesting. Well, it was nice talking to you. I'm, I'm glad we've gotten that conversation going. Oh, dear. Yeah. All right. Ooh. <laughs> all right. So, the story about this game, as far as I know. All right. So, I'm playing as Griff, who is a griffin, I guess, which is a lot. I don't know, a lion and a raven, but this one's more lion than raven. You might notice he has some weird gloves. These are Midas gloves. As you can tell, it's like the Midas touch. When I hit stuff, it'll turn into gold. Ooh, what is this? Midas as well. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna have to take up on that offer. For some reason, though, I can't open shit. Oh, I have to bum... Oh, okay, I have to bum rush. Okay, so this is basically like Spyro. Look, I gotta do the running animation. I can't punch stuff unless, you know... You think you're not ready for this? What? No, you go... You are ready for this. Go in there. 
Might as well locate it unavailable in the demo. Oh, okay. Alright, then why ha why bother have that there then? The great. Glad glad that's there. Am I stuck then? Am I supposed to How the fuck do I get back up here? Am I stuck? Do I have to restart the game again? Can I push this over here? Yes I can. Okay, good. They at least have the foresight to see this. I guess they wanted to show off like oh yeah. So this I think was part of the Kickstarter, like uh there was almost like a last year since like in September. Yeah, almost exactly last year ago. And I didn't find this out until like a few months ago. And I was like, oh, it's a Kickstarter? And I'm like, oh, it, it failed. Oh, oh well. But um, I'm on the Discord. And as far as I know, this game's still being worked on. But it, there's other stuff that's also being worked on because there's multiple things that they're doing. But as far as I know from the Discord, this project is not dead. As far as I know. And there's still stuff coming, but I have yet to see any information. So, yeah, take this whole thing with a grain of salt. I'm hoping... I mean, this looks like it's an interesting thing. Like, I'm sure if people actually played this, like... If you had, like, people like Mark Appeller or, I don't know, somebody big into the industry... Who ended up... Well, so that's what I have to do. I have to do a rush. If people bigger who like platformers actually advertise this game, I'm sure this would have probably got funded. I mean, the idea itself is pretty much interesting. I think... I think the Kickstarter page is there. And I think the demo is as well. I'm not 100% sure. Take a look. I think right now they're kind of doing a Patreon page, but it's not just for this game. I think it's also for their other side projects, like comics and whatnot. It's... it's odd company does a lot of other stuff than just the video game here which is kind of hard be what oh okay it's a power-up I don't have it's cool oh there's that oh 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 okay there we go there we go there's the Midas touch <laughs> you got to see it in action mmm yes okay so I see so when it's gold, yeah, so when it's like this, it's telling me that I can actually punch and turn into gold. Oh man. Oh, and I can even collect? Okay. That's interesting. Alright, that's interesting. Wow, you can you can actually collect... <laughs> oh, okay. So this, this is intriguing. So instead of actually collecting treasure, you can make your own treasure. And I believe... One of the selling points to this game is that you can kill enemies and then collect their corpses as value. So here, here's a goblin. Let's see if this works. Yeah, look. Oh my god, that is... The, the implications of what I just did there is just... Ooh. It's one of those... Like, like how is this a kid game? You know, it's for kids. It's not brutal in the sense. This is one of those rated E10 games because it's like, oh, well, there's that moment. There's like, hmm, ooh. Oh, man. There's another key down there. So is there more? Oh, wait. Is there multiple chests I'm opening up? I don't know. So I believe this demo is just for this era here. You, you might also notice that there's like a little character on the side there with Griff. I believe they talk about who he is in the demo, but... Uh, not in the demo, but... I believe in the Kickstarter type of deal. But I don't... Yeah, again, I'm not... It's been a while since I've I've seen within this game, so it's kind of hard for me to say what it was or what it is without forgetting. But, yeah, I mean, looking at this game, this proof of concept... I can see there's an audience for this, especially since this was before, you know, we got announcements for, like, Spiral Trilogy. I'm sure people within the Spiral community would have loved this. With the whole retro style kind of comeback with this. I mean, it it certainly has an audience. And the gimmick's kind of interesting, too. The whole do this. Oh, oh ooh. Ooh, okay. Alright, so it frees fairies. Oh, so I don't have I don't have the power to do that. I love it that he's just like, yeah, I'm not gonna do it right now. It's not. Oh, I need a power up for this. It's like, eh, not now. I don't feel like it. 
He could have just simply said, I need this. And it's like, I don't think I have power for this, but nah, it's like, nah. Nah, I don't need it. Nah, I don't want it. Can I hit the butterfly? No, I can't. The implications of us hitting the butterfly like that. Ooh. Yeah, I like this gimmick. It's a really interesting gimmick. I can totally see this game being something to be like... Like, again, I think the problem with the Kickstarter was that no one was informed that this game existed. If they were, I'm sure people would have done their best. I don't know what my achievement was. I guess I wanted to just... I got another key. Oh, I don't... Oh, okay, so... Apparently, the keys I collect, they're only for certain cages, I see. So it's not like one cage... One key for each cage. Nah, it's... I think... Yeah, okay, so within this demo, it's different. All right. I guess if the game came out, they probably would have fixed that problem, but... Oh, well. I can't really bark on games like these games too much because, again, they're more or less proof of concepts rather than this is like, this is the game that you paid five bucks for. But yeah, this is certainly... This would have been something I would have probably backed if I knew it existed. And this is not gold enough. There we go. Man, that's weird that you can actually just just murder your enemies and then collect their corpses and sell them for your treasure pile. That is morbid. <laughs> Ooh. That would be... That, that's such an interesting idea, but at the same time, that's kind of like, ooh. Like, it's one thing to hit, like, items, but it's another to just, you know... Try not to think about it. Don't think about it. What is this? Denial River. So that's another item. Also, I believe there's other characters too within this game. Okay, so that one opened that. So you're free now, fairy. I don't know. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh okay, good. Oh, look at the graph. Oh, okay, oh. Um, graphics there kind of was, it was kind of screwing up. The two kind of just just failed. So this this has not been activated, but this is more or less a oh look. Proof of concept. This is where this would have opened. So again <laughs> I'm not expecting this game to like not break. Especially since something coming out of me. I mean I'm I'm naturally breaking games, so it's that's that's a okay. Sometimes it's not the game's fault. I have no idea how the hell I'm gonna be... Do I run and jump? No. Oh, but I do see... There's... Ooh, there's a big pit. Oh, and I died. So I believe the story within this game is that... Griff here... Like, there was these gloves called Midas, uh, you know. Because of the story, if you don't know what Midas was, it was a story about a, uh, a guy named Midas who... Yeah, that's what I had to do with. A guy named Midas who was obsessed with gold. So, he was given the power one day by the gods, I believe, and this was, like, probably Rome or Greek mythology. And the story is that he was given the power to basically turn any item he desires into gold. So anything he touched turned to gold, like he wanted. So nothing wrong there, right? Well, it turns out it didn't just turn any item to gold, it turned everything to gold. So, wanted a drink of water? Well, too bad, it's gold now. Wanted to touch his wife? No, and no, she's gold too. It's, it's, it's one of those, and they're like, oh. And he found out the, the the horrors within that. Like this. Like this guy. He touched this guy and he's dead. And then, you know, that's it. It's just millions of pieces now. And I have no idea how the story ended. I don't know if he ended up just killing himself by touching. I have no idea. I don't remember this mythos. I would not be surprised... Bon Appetit, ooh. 
I also like how the platforms also kind of show off the the, the the level area itself, so... And I'm guessing this gate here is... Okay, so that's where the little demon guy is. Okay, so what, what does this power do? What can I do with this? Can I fly? What am I... Okay. I wish the game told me what I can do with this. I mean, I'm assuming I can fly, but how do I... What do I do? Uh, okay. The controls is just... Yeah, okay. I love how it says I only have one of four, but yet I had two, and yet for some reason it just... Do I have the key still? Maybe I do. Except what the fuck's... What the hell is up there? You see that, right? What? What is that? Whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa, buddy. Who are you? You're my little friend. Okay, there you go. I don't know where the hell you came from, but okay. I don't know how the hell I activated you or where you came from, but alright, whatever. Intriguing. Duh, so there we go there. It would be funny if you ended up actually just being able, like... Like, you're not supposed to, but it would be one of those, like, Metal Gear Solid events where it's like... You hit a character, <laughs> and then it's like... They die, and then there's like that mission fail type of deal, like you just create a time paradox. Or something along those lines. So maybe it didn't work the last time because this guy wasn't present. Who knows? Okay, so he just came out of nowhere because... Special powers. How come I can't press the start button anymore? That's weird. So I guess some of the stuff here did not... So I guess it must have not been implemented yet. Okay. Whatever. Okay, so it allows me to do this now. So when I have super... Okay, so I guess, I guess after the power runs out, I have this guy now. I think that's what that was about. Alright. I don't know what he does, he's just there. And I think I have the key, but I don't know where the I don't know where the fuck can I go now, because I can't jump high. I don't think the game lets me. And I can't go back here, the guy's like, nah, I don't wanna. Oh nice. Yeah, no. You don't want to don't want to let me. All right, I'm missing something. It's somewhere. I have not seen the I have not seen anybody playing this demo for a while, so God knows what else I'm missing here, but I think I think I've almost seen everything this this level has to offer. It's pretty like it's pretty sizable for like a platformer like this, but at the same time it's like you know, Normally, normally somebody would give you all the power-ups to look around. Um, as a way to just say, oh, oh, what's this? Oh, okay, so th I was supposed to come up here and then free you, I see. I don't know why, but there you go. Nice to know. And, uh, so I got that. Okay. And I can collect that now. Alright, so I think the opportunity is now opened for me. I think. Yeah, I think... I think... I don't know, like, what the deal was with the game, but there you go. There, I did that, but... How the hell am I supposed to fly up like this? 
Unless I'm supposed to go back now. I have no idea. I'm sure maybe it didn't work because I didn't have, like, I didn't open the vase and then there's this weird glitch. Let's find out. Let's find out if it works now. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, okay. Just making sure, no, I didn't miss anything over here. Yeah, see, so it's like you're supposed to be flying up high, but I have no idea how the fuck I'm supposed to be doing that. Even if there's a way. So the other thing I can see is probably looking at the demo and seeing if I'm missing anything. The controls never said anything else besides this special. Yeah, well that character's back. Hmm. Hold on a sec, maybe I can, maybe I can find the culprit inside the video. Ooh! Ooh! You so profess! Mmm, yes. Um, let's see here. Griff demo. Well, I found one. Let's see this. Let me turn let me turn off the volume because no, no commercials. I kinda hate with how they've kind of done stuff now with this. So let's see here. Yeah, let's go a little bit later. Let's see if he found a way. Apparently he did. Hold on, hold on. What did he do? Okay, yeah, I see him running. Okay, hold on a second. What kind of build is this? Okay, well, his demo doesn't have the spiky pits. And how he's doing is he's just jumping and then it'll just activate. So, did I have a fucking broken version? That, that would be stupid. Oh well. Gotta keep on dying. Yeah, that's weird. That is weird. Again, this is like a prototype demo, so it's kind of hard to expect anything less than just greatness. Also, wait, hold on, I see some boxes over there. Ooh. Yeah, I would have missed that. Not my fault. Maybe I need to grab all the things. Or maybe, was I supposed to stand here? Oh no, just... The textures is making it look weird when it's like... When I'm moving around, you seeing how it's just wobbling like this? Weird mapping, I guess. It's weird. So I must have gotten... Maybe this guy, what he's playing right now is like... No, I'm holding the button. Yeah, this doesn't work. <laughs> when they must have probably implemented some things, they must have forgotten others. Whoopsie! Well, um, well, I, I don't think I can beat the game. Yeah, no, there's no way. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to look at. I think this is basically all this game has to offer. It's a shame. <laughs> oh well. I mean... It's good for what it is. So that I guess this is Griff, Winged Lion. All right, that was that was nice. So this was Griff, the Winged Lion. Um, if this seemed interesting to you, I I advise you to kind of look it up online. You probably find more information about this, probably better than I do. Uh, X will return you the game. Yeah. And then it quits the video. Cool. Cool. So I think that's about it, so I'm good with that. I can take that off my list.